Hello and welcome to the Perlu Podcast, Influencer Marketing Reimagined, a podcast where we chat with influencer marketing professionals, social media influencers, bloggers, YouTubers, podcasters, you name it, about what has led to their success. I'm your host, Alexis Trammell, and today we are speaking with Cody Beavers, who manages social media and communications for Sixth USA. Sixth is a multi-billion dollar global car rental company that recently used Perlu to transform its influencer marketing into a more collaborative strategic initiative. Cody is a proven marketer for aligning business strategy and objectives with established social media and communication development, who focuses on maximum marketing impacts with minimum resource expenditures. Cody recently brainstormed campaign ideas for the upcoming season with a curated group of influencers on Perlu. The interactive session led to more than a dozen ideas for Sixth USA to connect more authentically with its audience, excite its customers, and generate far more ROI from its influencer marketing. Cody resides in Fort Lauderdale, Florida with his two dogs, and he is a strong believer in the power of branding. Thank you so much for joining us today, Cody. Thank you for having me. Great to be here. Right. Cool. So you have had a little bit of work already happening on Perlu. I'd love for you to speak to us about that a little bit today. As we all know, Perlu can help you take control and be more proactive when it comes to influencer marketing campaigns from targeting specific geographies to finding the influencers you can afford to pay or even to get upstream input from an influencer about what will be most effective for certain audiences. And you took advantage of this unique value Perlu has to offer through having a brainstorm session with several Perlu influencers. And I heard that some really cool ideas came out of that brainstorm from documenting an influencer's 25th birthday, since, you know, Six is his car rental company, to road tripping across the U.S. So could you share with us about that experience and what value did it bring to Six and what were some good takeaways you learned from that brainstorm? Sure. The brainstorm that I had was a very enlightening panel, actually. Uh, Much too often, marketers like myself can get caught up in a tunnel vision when it comes to content and only focusing on content that we see as creative content instead of really looking at our audience and the people who use our product and really looking at what they like and what they're passionate about. So being able to come into that brainstorm with Perlu with an open mind and looking at at ideas that the influencers had really showed me new ways to market Sixth as a company, especially to a growing audience of influencers, especially related to travel. And some good takeaways for me were creating uh, more long form authentic content for Six, and also giving influencers more control when it comes to how they want to tell their story really uh, diving in with the influencers and learning everything that they've done with other brands. That's so cool to hear. Sixth has won awards for its influencer marketing campaigns in the past. It is well known in Europe and it's a newer brand in the U.S. So could you share with us what it's like to trailblaze a brand in a new geography where you're not as well known? Yeah, so you're exactly correct. Where Six rent a car is the number one car rental company in Europe and number four in the US. So we definitely have a bigger brand presence and we're more well known in Europe than we are uh, here in the States. So it's definitely a challenge for us here. Every day we have to come into the office and it's always an all hands on deck sort of feeling, which I really like uh, working in that startup esque like atmosphere. For me personally, honestly, I didn't know much about Six, and especially I didn't know how huge it was until I started working here almost a little over three years ago. But uh, watching the company not only grow in size over those years, but also growing in awareness is extremely rewarding to the company and our marketing team as a whole. Cool, cool. Well, let's back up a little bit. So you manage social media and communications for Sixth USA. What has been your experience in influencer marketing and how has that integrated with your role as a social media and communications manager, considering, you know, Six does have that startup type of culture happening right now? So, yeah. So since we're more of a startup S type of company here in the States, our, our budget can be uh, pretty, to be really uh, cost effective at times. So that's a perfect opportunity for us to really focus on influencer marketing. 
uh, just because the I I believe the cost and content that comes out of working with an influencer is far greater than what we might do with billboard advertising, a more traditional type of advertising. So really having this new wave of advertising in form of influencers is really a cost efficient strategy for Sixth. And just our brand and the way that we focus on renting out luxury cars and we're available in many uh, locations here in the US and worldwide in over a hundred countries it's really easy for us to get on board with influencers and offer them a trip in a nice luxury car in exchange for uh, some really great storytelling and really great content. So I believe the fact of where our brand is and the products that we have to offer really aligns with what influencers want to do, which is travel. That's so cool. How is influencer marketing in Europe different than what you're doing here in the U.S., where there's less market awareness? And how does that how does that affect your day to day? Our tone of voice here at Sixth is really uh, constant in our communication channels across all of our corporate countries. So, because of the consistency of our brand voice, all of our uh, marketing really revolves around one core audience that's really similar in every country. I mean, every country is going to have travelers between the ages of 21 to 60 plus. So that's really what our core audience here is at Sixth globally. So there's many campaigns that we work with internationally in Europe that really helps raise brand awareness here at a cost effective scale here in the States. But of course, there are more niche audiences in every country that each of our country markets to. So of course, there, there are niche audiences in every country that each country will market to, of course. So the integration is very time effective as well, especially when there's one country. So let's say UK comes up with a really cool piece of content that can work internationally here in the States since there's no language barrier there. And even if there is, so let's say Germany comes up with a really cool social media post, it's easy for us to here in the States to adapt. In regards to influencer marketing and how that's different, it's usually much easier for Europe to work with large influencers because of their name. Uh, six in Europe weighs a lot heavier over there than it does in the States. Uh, here in the States, there's probably only one in 10 people, I would say, that really know what Six is as a brand. But that's not necessarily a negative thing for us. Uh, we just take it more of a challenge. And that just means that Six in the U.S. has to be a little bit more creative and more grassroots marketing when it comes to uh, influencers and storytelling. Could you tell us about some ways that you align six business strategy and objectives with established social media and communication development? Sure. Uh, of course, uh, six USA, our main focus is car rental. And in regards to that, marketing for car rental uh, might not seem like a very fun thing to market for. We know in the customer journey, car rental is the thing that people worry about the least. And they really look at pricing other more than anything else. So we're not like at airlines where everyone has their preferred airlines. No one really has their preferred car rental company. So as a goal for our marketing team, that's the goal that we want to strive for. We want a six to be the customer's preferred car rental company. So if they go online and they see based uh, on our competitors, they would still want to go with six because that's the brand that they're loyal to now. So that's the question that we ask ourselves when we come in the office every day. And my role specifically is to figure out ways that we can fuse our brand channels with our communication channels in order to create a cohesive and successful story that will hopefully drive revenue and raise brand awareness. Thanks so much, Cody. I'd like to take a quick break to talk about Perlu, the platform that all influencer marketing professionals should be using to connect with influencers. It's not a subscription-based directory. It's a professional network of active influencers ensuring that brands partner with only the best. And you can sign up and try the platform for free today. No commitments, no obligations. Here's Brent Scott, Perlu's Director of Influencer Marketing, to tell you a little bit more. Brands, we know it's not easy to crack the code of influencer marketing. Influencer databases, basically just the yellow pages for influencers, are a disappointment for everybody. Usernames and follower accounts aren't enough, and you don't have time to worry about bots and fake influencers. 
And if you finally do find influencers who align with your goals, how do you know what type of campaign will work best for your brand? That's why we built Perlu, a community of active and thriving Instagrammers, bloggers, YouTubers, podcasters, you name it, who are collaborating right on our platform, using it to build authentic audiences and establish themselves as leaders in their niche, making it clear to you who's who in the influencer world. And to ensure your campaigns have amazing impact, we provide Perlu Advisors, a specially curated group of professional influencers to be your insider guides to influencer marketing. They have the experience, connections, and insights to help you develop amazing strategies for groundbreaking success. And once you've built your dream team, Perlu provides clean, simple tools to manage your campaign at every stage so you can put those spreadsheets, emails, and DMs to rest. Everything you need to crack the code of influencer marketing is here. Perlu, influencer marketing reimagined. Well, cool. And so you really uh, prided yourself on achieving maximum marketing impact with minimum resource expenditures. Could you tell us how, how you go about doing that and how that ties into your uh, influencer marketing initiatives? Sure, so as I mentioned earlier, being uh, kind of new in the States and still growing, we don't have the marketing budget that our friends in Europe might have. So we gotta be a little bit more smart when it comes to our marketing. And one way, as I touched upon earlier, is influencer strategies, but it also comes down to being a little bit more creative in terms of content, looking at new niche platforms. So we've been looking at platforms such as Twitch, TikTok, Chinese social channels as well, since Chinese travel is a growing here in the States. So just kind of being a little bit more smarter in our marketing strategy is a really good way for us to create cost effective and efficient campaigns uh, on a minimum budget. Awesome. And so I've got to know, what are some of the most creative things that you've been doing for six lately? Yeah. I mean, uh, here at six, uh, I think it's one of the best brands to market for right now. I mean, there's so many exciting things happening and so many exciting things actually in the pipeline for uh, 2020. So uh, right now is a really good time to be a marketer at six, in my opinion. Our 60 bucks campaign is something that we're actually working on right now. And I think that's one of the most creative things that's happening at the brand so far. So basically what it is, is we're giving two influencers 60 bucks and a car rental to explore a specific city that we have uh, set out for them. And we just uh, film everything that they buy and their travel and it's funny. And when our first one we did, we uh, did for LA. And it's just basically just using influencer marketing in a more smarter way by kind of giving it some sort of gamification. And also with the video that we did in LA and the upcoming video, which we'll have launching in November, we collaborated with BMW to really help uh, do a, a really well-rounded brand collaboration between Sixth and our car manufacturer. So for Six, with a brand collaboration like that with BMW for this video, or for this campaign, Sixth is able to build more brand awareness and reach in the States just, because, just by having BMW in the name. And also for BMW, I think it really helps them reaching a new niche audience, which might not really think of BMW as a fun brand. They might think of BMW as kind of a little bit out of their price range something that they can only dream about but was fixed. it's really about making that dream a reality and i think that's what our 60 bucks campaign right now is really a uh, our, our goal for it oh so fun that sounds so fun for the influencers and what a smart partnership with bmw yeah yeah thank you <laughs> was that something that came from the brainstorms with influencers on perlu so uh, I would definitely think that that brainstorm kind of kicked off or made the creative gears turning. The idea actually came from our uh, ad agency in the U.S., uh, Superheroes. But uh, definitely uh, we kind of had that in the pipeline. But after my brainstorm with the influencers, I thought we were just going to have uh, kind of regular actors doing it. But with the brainstorm that I had in Perlu. I really thought that influencers would kind of be more authentic and would give us kind of a different feel than what our competition is doing in terms of social media. 
cool. Yeah. And I, I saw, I saw these posts on social and I thought, how creative are you seeing a lot of positive response from it? Yeah. Yeah. A positive response from not only our customers, but also uh, new people who might not have heard of uh, six before have really been uh, excited about uh, the first video that we launched. So that makes us even more excited to show everyone uh, the second video that we have coming up in November. Also on our side, in terms of metrics, it was considered a success and BMW loved it as well. So I think it was a win all around. Oh, that's so great to hear. I love that. I'm curious. So looking back on all of the social media campaigns that you've done with Sixt, uh, which one do you feel like you got the most return on your energy and resources? That's hard. That's hard. We, we try to do that with every social campaign that we do, but one that's probably the most momentous in terms of not only six, but six marketing would be when we took over uh, NYC and we were celebrating the launch of our for first downtown location in New York City, which is located in Battery Park. And we wanted to make something really special for it because it was our first location in New York. New York is all about the big lights. It's kind of if you make it in New York, you can make it anywhere. So having a branch open up there was really a special uh, momentous time for us. And being able to work with Cadillac in creating the brand activation and really setting it up from start to finish was a really a great way for us to learn as a marketing team on how to handle national brand campaigns, but also as a company to show that we can actually do something like this on uh, a limited budget and without a lot of resources, but a whole lot of energy. And by the end of it, I really think we uh, hit the nail on it. Uh, we partnered with Cadillac, so we were able to get their uh, event venue uh, in Manhattan for the night to host kind of a celebration where we invited influencers so they can be creating content. We had journalists, we had bloggers, uh, we had a Q&A with our uh, stakeholders of the company and all that was done on a very limited and tight budget and the, re and the energy and the return on it was tenfold. So I would definitely say that when we took over New York City for a day, that was a uh, one of our biggest social media campaigns, but it's, it's, it's really hard for me to pick. That sounds so great. Love New York city. Love that you guys are, we're making that happen. That's so, that's so cool. Could you tell us about how you've integrated influencers into your social media content? Yeah. So at six, we're all about, really authentic experiences. I mean, when you're on a road trip, not every road trip is the same. So we try not to market it like that. So when we look at influencers, we really let the influencers kind of decide their own road trip because the best way that they can tell a story is if they do it their own way and it's authentic. And for us, I feel, or I believe that it brings a lot more value to a company when you have authentic influencer content like that. So the way that we integrate influencers is you basically, uh, they send us an itinerary of the trip, kind of the details of it, kind of the aesthetic of what they're trying to accomplish on the road trip. And we just let them go. And they go out, they do, they do their thing, they create great content. And when it comes back to us, that's when our team kind of looks at it and decides uh, where that content should live in terms of the six fold. So there's some content that we say, oh man, this is really great for an Instagram strategy, other content, we feel like we, it would be better suited in more of a blog format. So we put it up on our six magazine, but really it all starts with the influence right? and kind of how they want to tell the story. Oh my gosh, how fun. So you'll partner with an influencer, they give you what they've got, and then you figure out where it's going to fit into your social media strategies or your blog strategy. Exactly. Yeah, we, we really try not to direct them in any sort of way because at six we have so many uh, branded channels that we own and we and all those channels need content. So of course there might be some instance where we're like, okay, we need a little bit more Instagram content. So we'll focus on a more visually professional influencer. Sometimes we need blog content. So we'll kind of focus more on a blogger type influencer, but really, uh, it's all about uh, the influencers and really them giving us what they like to do and what they're passionate about because that's when we get the best content. That's beautiful. That's, that's a great way to integrate influencers and it's very unique too. 
So what is your favorite influencer that you are following right now? You know, being a marketer, I always have to look on the more upcoming platforms. So I've been uh, around on TikTok uh, for, for a while now, just kind of learning the platform and seeing that seeing ways that six can maybe be uh, integrated into that. So, but um, there's some influencers on there that I really think are really creative, but one influencer that I've really enjoyed uh, looking at his content for the past years has been Zach King. I'm not sure if you heard of him. He's a uh, kind of does illusion type content. So uh, with like camera angles and really creative stuff. So oh. that's really uh, the type of influencer that I really like just influencers who do something different, who can push the bubble a little bit and also have that creative uh, mindset. So definitely uh, Zach King would be my favorite influencer right now. Cool. How fun. I was pretty removed from the brainstorm that you had with the Perlu influencers. And so, I mean, I, I just love to hear that it was eye opening to you and that um, you felt like you learned a lot from it. And then that inspired future influencer marketing campaigns. Um, if there's anything more that you would like to add to that, I mean, I'd love to hear it. Yeah, I mean, I thought it was really an eye opening experience, you know, always being a marketer, you're usually like behind your computer screen doing more of the boring on the boring side of things when it comes to marketing. So really being part of a creative brain brainstorm again, uh, was, was really cool. And I think really beneficial. It's that something that definitely every marketer should uh, try and, uh, get together at least once or twice uh, a year, uh, probably, uh, more, but, uh, definitely having some sort of time to just sit aside and just brainstorm ideas especially with influencers, leading influencers in your industry is a, a really smart way to market. Love that. That's so great. Um, and so what influencers did you get to brainstorm with? So uh, the influencers that we brainstormed with, uh, I believe they were all uh, working with Perlu and they were all a uh, travel based. That's definitely the type of influencers that six is looking at right now. So being able to be part of a brainstorm with influencers that, your uh, want to work with really uh, helps you kind of gain perspective on not only kind of the trips that they're looking at take uh, looking at taking but also looking at the content that they're wanting to create and the content that they're passionate about just because they're travel influencers that doesn't mean that's the only thing that they're passionate about so really looking at travel influencers and looking at what their niche might be whether it's traveling with family uh, solo travel, adventure travel, it's really uh, kind of put things in perspective. Okay, we shouldn't only be looking for travel influencers. We should be looking at for travel influencers with a specific niche attached to it because that gets us really into a new type of audience and brings in a new set of eyes. Cool, cool. When someone is looking for a car rental company, it's great for them to have an influencer that they're following already promoting it so that that brand awareness also exists. But I mean, even if they see that there was like a really positive experience with six and they got to drive these cool BMWs around and all of that, I mean, are you seeing a lot of brand loyalty tied to those campaigns? So of course that's a great way to start uh, a relationship with a customer and really building brand loyal, uh, loyalty with them. But in terms of the customer sees that someone following someone that they're influenced by is renting with this great company and they want to look more into it. So uh, six, so we feel like that just doesn't stop there. It takes a lot to build brand loyalty. It might even take uh, longer than we anticipate to really get a customer loyal to our company. But influencers is a great way to kind of build or start that. Uh, how would you say that that building process to reach that sense of brand loyalty that so many customers have with so many other companies in the space. But uh, definitely influencer marketing is a great a uh, place to start when it comes to building brand loyalty. Awesome. Awesome. Well, thank you so much for joining us today, Cody. Thank you to everyone listening. We hope you enjoyed hearing from Cody Beavers, the social media and communications manager for Six USA. If you like our show and are interested in what it takes to succeed in influencer marketing, check out our blog at blog.perlu.com for more podcasts and blog posts. 
and sign up for Purlu at purlu.com to meet, mingle, connect, collaborate, and grow your career. We hope you join us for our next installation of the Purlu podcast, Influencer Marketing Reimagined.